Okay, guys, we're declaring Jerusalem's abominations in this message, okay? We're going to go through the city, the old city of Jerusalem. We're going to show you it's clearly Mystery Babylon, okay? Now, where I am right now, I apologize if um, in the view um, it's not a lot of sunlight, but where we are is we're in the um, northern part of the old city. And... Um, this is what um, Ezekiel prophesied against and many other um, prophets, okay? But um, the Lord took Ezekiel into Jerusalem to a door and he saw the image of jealousy, okay? You know this to be the statue, the abomination that makes it desolate, okay? And he said, Son of man, lift up your eyes toward the north. So I lifted up my eyes towards the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar was an image of jealousy. So guys, we're at the outside of the city. Behind me here is the gate of Damascus. So this is the outside of the city. This is not, obviously, um, a temple being built. But it says clearly here that Ezekiel sees something. He sees a, a temple in Jerusalem, okay? And at that gate northward, he sees this statue. We know to be the abomination that makes desolate. But guys, Jerusalem is mystery Babylon. We can clearly see that. We're going to go through it in this message. Okay. Now in this prophecy in Ezekiel 8, we can see the north gate. This is the north gate here, Damascus. We're outside the city. We're going to go in the city, and we're going to show you some things. Now, um, in this prophecy, guys, this is where we really need to have the Lord seated on the throne of your heart. So we see the Lord seated on his throne in verse 2. The likeness of appearance of fire and the appearance of the Lord upward were their fire, okay, and the brightness of the color of amber. This is the Lord, okay? And then the glory of the Lord of Israel lightened so that Ezekiel could see this house, okay? Now we know later on in Ezekiel 40 to 48, Ezekiel sees um, the temple that the Lord Jesus Christ will reign in the millennial temple a thousand years, okay? But before that, there's a false temple. Now, the way there's a false temple is you have these elders here, okay? You have these false elders in Ezekiel 8. Well, the Lord um, shows them, um, shows Ezekiel this temple, shows them, he takes them in this temple, he digs in the walls, he digs in this temple, and we're gonna do some digging today. Are going to show you, okay? But um, verse um, one of chapter fourteen of Ezekiel, and they came certain of the elders of Israel, and they sat before me, and and the word of the Lord came, said, "Son of man, these have set up idols in their hearts." Okay, so what we're seeing in Ezekiel eight is idols in the heart put um, um, put things on the temple, put things on the the imagination of your heart, guys. We are you're a temple, okay? We're a temple of God, and we can't have abominations on the temple of our heart. We can't have things written on the walls. We can't have idols and things, okay, that are not pleasing in the Lord's sight, guys. So that's why we have to repent. We have to let the Lord sit on the throne of our heart, let the glory of Him shine in us to show us the things not doing pleasing in our sight, okay? Now, what happens is, once the people have idols in their hearts, then they form a structure. They come together to form a structure. So the true... Um, priests, ministers of the Lord will form the structure of um, New Jerusalem, but before that they'll form Ezekiel's temple. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're outside, we're at the north gate of the city, we're going to go through the city, we're going to show you the abominations of all the false religions, of all the false things here in Jerusalem. All right, guys, one of the things that the enemy likes to do here at the north side of the city, you see these palm trees. Um, these palm trees, as we look here, um, there's five rows of them. So one of the things um, that we have is a lot of times the enemy will counterfeit things. Now, in the cedars of Lebanon, in Solomon's porch, there were cedars of Lebanon. And what they, what they had is they had, um, they had 60 uh, pillars. Uh, the cedars of Lebanon. So those are pillars in the temple. So what we have here is we have a counterfeit of that. We have these palm branches, uh, palm trees, excuse me. And these are um, 
in rows of five, and there's, I believe, 12 in a row. And this is at the north gate. And it says this in um, Song of Solomon, chapter seven. It talks about the towers of Lebanon, and towers can also be trees, cedars, towards Damascus, okay? And we're at the Damascus gate. So um, some of what is taking place here is spiritually counterfeiting things in the temple of the Most High God to uh, deceive the people, okay? So some things are done in parks and uh, various things. And it, um, you know, these various religions try to influence the people into their um, false belief systems. Okay guys, let's look at Jeremiah. And um, Jeremiah, go to chapter one, verse 15. For lo, I call the families of the kingdoms of the north. And here we are again at the north gate. And they shall come and they shall set everyone his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem. So again, we're at the north, Damascus gate, and um, we're sitting at these gates, and it says, against the walls thereof, round about, and against all the cities of Judah. So here you can see the walls, and here we are at the walls of Jerusalem at these very north gates. Now let's go to Jeremiah chapter 4, and we can see the word of the Lord against Jerusalem. For thus says the Lord unto the men of Judah and Jerusalem, bake up the foul ground. And so not among thorns, okay? Declare in Judah, publish in Jerusalem. Blow the trumpet in the land, okay? Cry together, assemble yourselves. Let us go into the defense cities. This is what we've been uh, telling you guys. Lion, ox, man, eagle. Set up the standard towards Zion. Retire, for he will bring evil from the north and great destruction, okay? And then it says, it talks about the king and princes and priests, and it says, these have greatly deceived the people and Jerusalem, saying, we shall have peace, whereas the sword reaches the soul. So we're going to see, guys, all the things they do to deceive the people um, within the old city. But here we are at the north, and it says to say these things at the north gates of Jerusalem. Now, guys, this the time of the Lord's coming is soon, and we have that here in Jeremiah 4. At that time it shall be said to the people to Jerusalem, a dry wind and high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people. So we have the dry wind. We know that the Lord is withholding the four winds. Let not the winds blow. Okay? And so what? We have sealed the servants on their forehead. Even a full wind from those places shall come, and I will give sentence against them. And again, this is the east wind of Revelation 7-2. Then, verse 13, Behold, he shall come in the clouds, and his chariots as a whirlwind, his horses swifter than eagles. Guys, the Lord is coming soon, and we are declaring these things at the north gate, and we'll go into the uh, city shortly. Uh, make mention to the nations, publish against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country to give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keepers of the field, they are against roundabout, because she has been rebellious against me, says the Lord. We're going to see the rebellions of the people against the Lord. Okay? And, uh, and there's a, a, um, a thing where Jeremiah says, My bowels, my bowels, I'm pained in my heart to make a noise within me. Sound the trumpet. Alarm of war. Destruction, destruction. Cries. For the whole land is spoiled. How long will they see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? We've been blowing the trumpet. We are in the times of the trumpets, but the people are foolish, it says. They have not known me. They are sottish children. They have no understanding. So um, now, guys, let's go and look at Revelation. It's very difficult for me to uh, even do scripture reading anywhere in Jerusalem. So I have this spot here trying to take advantage of all the noise. You hear the bells, you know. Um, there's so much, um, it's, it's a dreadful place, okay? Now let's go to Revelation 17, okay? Um, and John is carried away in the spirit, and verse 5 says, um, there's, actually let's go, John is taken in the spirit, and I saw a woman on a, uh, sit upon a scarlet colored beast, full of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, dealt with gold and precious stones of pearls, having a golden cup of her hand, full of the abominations and filthiness of her fornication. So that's what we're going to see. 
throughout this place, guys. Um, the gold and precious things. Okay, and upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots, the abominations of the earth. Okay, then it talks about the kings, and once we get to Revelation 18, all right, it talks about her. Alas, alas, the, um, the fear of her torment, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment is come. And the merchants of the earth, we're going to see all the merchants in here. <laughs> um, the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her for no man buys her merchandise anymore the merchandise of gold of silver precious stones pearls um, guys one of the ways you know when someone is gonna build a, the temple you know the Jews are gonna build a false temple they're gonna have a lot of precious things things are gonna be a gold we're gonna we're gonna see some things as we go but the reason you know it's not the true temple, in Ezekiel's temple, there's no gold or silver mentioned in the temple, okay? So when we have these things, they're counterfeiting the previous temple, the house of David, okay? And the tabernacle of Moses, all right? But there, it says it here, we're gonna see all this stuff right in this city. Um, Merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and wood and man of vessels of ivory and vessels of the most precious wood of brass of iron and marble cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour these are all the things necessary to do the temple service wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men guys one thing that's that's apparent whenever you you know if you come to israel and really see what's going on you'll see that there's slaves and their souls that are um, subject to slavery here, okay? And the fruits that your soul lusted after are departed from you. Um, and the merchants of these which were made rich by her stand afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, a great city which was clothed in fine linen, purple and scarlet, decked in gold and precious stones and pearls. For in one hour her great riches is come to naught, okay? So God's going to judge mystery Babylon, and we're going to see that Jerusalem is mystery babylon guys we're gonna we're gonna go through it okay guys here we are at the entrance of the uh of the damascus gate the north gate okay now obviously in all the brochures everything that's going to tell you this is the holy land well we're going to see this place is anything but the holy land guys this is exactly what it talks about in the prophecies okay um and let's go in. So this is the main gate in the north that we showed you, we've been talking about. Um, you enter in at these gates, and everybody, the tourists, the Muslims, the Jews, the Christians, everybody will enter in at this gate. Okay, so this is, for many people, their first impression of Jerusalem, of the old city. So we're pretty, uh, mostly talking about the old city. And then you can see here, you're immediately confronted with the merchants. Look at this, okay? This is a holy place, all right? <laughs> Look at this, this is what you see, okay? Now, remember we talked about the gold and the linen, all right, um, the precious things? Here we go. Gold, gold, linen, uh, colors, purple, scarlet. It's Jerusalem, guys. And uh, if we go here, we have another uh, space where it uh, talked about this. Look at this is all in the old city uh, in the merchants. Okay, so at least it's quiet in here. But as soon as we leave and we come out again, we are confronted with the merchants. Again, this is the Damascus Gate. Okay, and uh, this is what it is, guys. This is just this is your holy place, all right? Um, and it talks about look at they love to make flashy colors, even these shoes, ten shekels, gold, silver. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know that these are abominations unto the Lord. They're building a false temple, all right? And as we walk, we're guys. This is all live. We're just walking right into Damascus Gate, and. As soon as you do, what do you have here? See it? Money changer. 
<laughs> Guys, if the Lord was upset at the first temple, you're going to see he's really not pleased with this place. All right, and there's tons of these. We're going to see a bunch of them. You guys, here's again, we have some of the incense. Remember it said the oil and the incense. All that is uh, necessary for the temple. And it's all over the place. Okay, and we're going to keep uh, showing you, keep investigating here on the, uh, on the things. This is the, these are the shops. I know a lot of you have never been here. But guys, this is it. This is Jerusalem. This is a holy place. Look at this. Candy. You know, cheap stuff from China. Look at bright colors. This is Jerusalem, man. This is the old city. This is the holy place. Okay, here we got uh, meat, uh, animals sacrificed to idols. Um, that uh, even Apostle Paul has told us not to uh, eat these things, uh, sacrifice to idols. This is all, look at that meat just hanging outside. Uh, in the old city abominations unto the lord uh here's another one okay let's just get a view of this there's mystery babylon right there see here kingdom balquis it's non-stop guys it's non-stop in this place okay look at these uh false eagles Again, traders of uh, silver, gold. Okay. These are the merchants, guys. Now, these are the little merchants in Jerusalem, representing the, the uh, larger merchants of uh, big business and everything. But look at this. Here's this meat Where hanging. Look at this. Meat hanging. Disgusting. Right in the open. Look at the fish. You know, talks about them on ships. This is all stuff out in the open, guys. Crabs. This is mystery balance, just like the scripture said. Fish. This is just, as you're walking, these are just the things you're confronted with. Ah, here we go. Here's a good uh, fabric place. Okay. She's clothed with scarlet and linen. And, and look at, the people love this place. Not knowing they're committing abominations. There's another place for uh, gold. Look how that's all lit up. Gold. She's adorned. Look at this. Adorned. Precious gold. Precious things. It's Mystery Babylon, guys. Mother of harlots. Okay. See, these are all the things the merchants do to deceive the people. Um, we're going to see all of it here. Again, more gold rings see they counterfeit the seal see all these seals all these seals counterfeit seals just like uh, Jezebel Vashti Jezebel took the king's seal did stuff on her own all right precious gold adorning it's all fake it's not real but that's all that's the reality is this place is fake not real now as we walk we're coming south um, all right, what we got here, you got this sign, um, it's telling us straight to, um, Church of the Holy Sepulchre, so then we'll do that. Um, again, look at all this, jewelers, seals, more and more seals, okay, all the shops, look at, the silver, the gold. Candy, sweets. Cheap clothes, uh, leather, sacrifice animals. And guys, the tourists love this stuff. Look at it. stuff for belly dancers. Oh, this is a holy place, though, right? Look at this. All right. Now we got the arrow here going towards the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now, another thing I want to show you <laughs> is they got tractors running up in this place. This is the thing. Uh, one of the one of the people said. Leland, this place is like a farm. <laughs> it is. They got tractors running up all through here all the time. Look at the look at the cheap garbage and stuff they're carrying. But uh, 
Uh, this is on the way to the Holy Sepulcher. And now, guys, the idols are going to get worse and worse and worse, okay? Now, he said, make no graven image. Why? Just because, um, you know, it's this stuff? It's not a graven image? It says, don't make a statue. There's all statues. All right. And like I said, this is gonna this is about to get worse and worse and worse. All of these are abominations, guys. Look at Queen of Heaven. It's it doesn't matter the religion. Look at they got they don't care what you believe. They'll sell you anything. Menorahs, Queen of Heaven. You know. Look at statues, statues, beads. Both the Muslims and the Catholics use the beads. Okay. Uh, purses. And look at more and more statues and idols, lions. He said, make no graven image, man. No, oh, I like this one because this, this tells you like it is. Old City Bazaar. And this, it is, guys. This place is horrible. It's a bazaar. You know, Jerusalem. You know, pause this and look at this stuff, guys. It's unbelievable. Old City Bazaar. Okay. And uh, we can see some here. Bazaar. I mean, they just come out and just say these words. It's bazaar. <laughs> it's totally bazaar. But it's totally normal to people. People love it. Look at this. Queen of Heaven, Mystery Babylon, everywhere, abominations. Now here we go, now we're entering the uh, Holy Sepulchre. These are all the uh, Catholic and Orthodox pilgrims that um, come up in here. And look at guys, they come in the bus load. Look at all these people. All Look at all these people, right? And, uh, and you can enter in over there too, but um, let's go in here and we'll, uh, we'll show you um, you know what it looks like but look at this buses and buses of people eating this stuff up they love it people love religion guys we're suckers for religion we're suckers for lies we're suckers for deception okay now it's gonna be a little dark all right but look at everyone else's oh holy place you know oh man this is abominations so um, now we, we're coming up in here guys and, and this is something to where the people worship this stone, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Look at them all bowing down. Look at this. Okay, so this is the false Catholic place where they say um, Jesus was uh, crucified and everything. And look at this place, guys. Remember, we sa it said bizarre, all right? Now, uh, there's a there's a thing here. I wonder if that's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's not the one. But uh, there's a thing, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mention this. There's a thing that they do, um, false signs and wonders, where they make fire, and the fire is not hot. Okay. But oh my goodness, this is so crazy. I can't believe it. All these people are going into some like tomb thing. I mean, look at this. This is unbelievable. I've been here before and it was nothing like this. So in here is like what they say is Jesus tomb. All right, but look at the look at the look at the top. It's the sun. Uh, sun worship, okay? Um, the dome. These are all the the false Illuminati symbolisms, everything. Okay. False Christ. This is all antichrist, false Christ. Mystery of Babylon, all right? Look at it. Look at the look at the thousands of people in here, guys, eating this stuff up. Now the garden tomb is the real site, okay? But look at we can hardly get through here. I'm trying to get over there. I haven't seen everything. Now here's another room in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre that I don't know what it is. 
but another room the people aren't allowed in there but let's look at it look at this guys look at this mary queen of heaven stuff i mean these are just dreadful things man look at this and the people eat this up they think it's the truth when the truth is just not far away look at this they say this is the tomb guys we showed you the tomb it meets the description in the bible but look at this place pillars it's babylon you can't see this as babylon man i don't know what to tell you so guys i don't understand all this here but it looks like um the people are going into this tomb and, and doing something it's like okay so i don't know what it is but they're they're being like i don't know it's something weird man birth i don't know what's going on but um, it's got all the pagan symbols. All right, guys, as we leave, I hate coming to this place, but look, this is just the reality. People bow and worship this stone. See them? They worship this stone. And this is the first commandment. You shall have no other gods before me, all right? Now, everything has the symbolism of the truth, okay? See, like these lamps? It says they burn incense, you know, to other gods. Well, look at the people bowing, prostrating themselves before a stone, okay? Now, these are the elders we told you in Ezekiel. There's, there's a false 25 elders, which copy the 24 elders, and they have incense, okay? Like lamps and stuff, incense. You can see that over here. Um, you know, they're burning the incense. See that fire? See that? Okay, so I hate coming in here. I feel like I need a shower, it's disgusting. But this is what the prophecy says. Son of man, declare their abominations. Look at this. So let's get out of here. Uh, this is the exit. And again, look at it. hundreds, hundreds, thousands of people. Now the garden tomb also has busloads of um, Christian tourists. But man, can you believe this? suckers for religion all right guys now remember how it said the birds <laughs> it's amazing they got uh, lots of birds here here's a parrot and uh, there's other other birds we'll show you um, caged birds these are they're fulfilling Bible prophecy they don't even know it okay so we just left the uh, Holy Sepulchre and now we're headed towards um, oh we're headed towards like the Jewish quarter Jewish side and, um, and it just keeps going. Look at all this, man. All this. They'll sell, they'll sell anything. You know, Masonic hand symbols, all kinds of stuff. Now, guys, I want to show you this cup. Look at these cups. Mr. Babylon's cups. She's drunk. Guys, this is a good stretch. Look at this. Menorahs, Christians, golds, chess games. Okay. And look at this. <laughs> Bongs. <laughs> Here we have all kind of manner of precious vessels, it says. Um, glass, but talks about ivory and some others. Guys, here's something else um, of note is the um, religions coming together. You can see in this photograph the guys with the black hats. Those are Orthodox. They could be um, probably Eastern Orthodox. Um, the red hats are Muslims, and of course the white collars are Catholics. So these are the religions all coming together. This is a photograph, and you know you see the the people with selfies, you know, taking photos of this. Um, but this is going on, you guys. This is super cool. Here we have the incense altar, and you can see it's it's going, uh, burning incense, and this weird statue next to it. So this is very significant, guys. We're, we're worshiping the Most High, sweet savers onto the throne, and we come against these false incense, false gods, statues. Okay, now we're in the um, one section, and you can see this is very similar to what we've seen thus far. All the merchants, the garments, um, and everything this is just this is what it's right guys all right 
and as it goes, it says the fruits. You know, it says uh, the fruits that you lusted after, spices, uh, idols, gold, silver. All right. So then, what we do is we um, then enter the uh, Jewish quarter, the Jewish section. All right. And once we get here, um, we can see a you know drastic difference, but um, yet um, the same thing. So the Jews have more high-end stores, more expensive stuff. All right, remember it said the wine. Look at this, we got the wine. <laughs> Everything is fulfilling the scriptures perfectly. The wine, look at weird things, cows, statues, idols. This is in the Jewish section, look at that. Unbelievable. Now they also got like American idolatry here where they, um, they have this thing and they, Jerusalem cardinals and all this, you know. It's all the same thing, they're all the same. Um, spirits of the merchants and of course these people um, you know rule the world through this you know um, idols statues gold silver um, false coverings uh, pagan menorahs you know all these things guys so once you hit the uh, Jewish section it's really it's really no different you know I mean look at this Look at all this silver, gold. It's all the same merchants, you know. Uh, but they just say fine art, okay? See that, fine art, you know. Oh, fine art, no it's not. It's all the same thing, man. All the same thing. Now this is one I wanna show you. So once we get here, look at this. You don't know what this is, guys. This is Kabbalah symbolism right here. That's the Kabbalah tree of life. Declare their abominations, son of man. Declare their abominations. You don't know what that is, guys. Look it up. All right, so we're still in the Jewish quarter. We're heading up. They have some uh, some sites and different things here. Um, you know, as we go, and uh, you know, as you can see, there's uh, you know kind of historic things, right? Historic things. But, same stuff, same merchants, weaving, weaving the spider's web, it says in Isaiah. Look at this crown, uh, the Cardo, Cardo charm, and the abominations they used to deceive the people. All right, here we are at the Western Wall, and now we'll get, um, as we've shown you, there's a couple views. I'll uh, show you the other view for the other side. But um, now, as we look, this is the uh, Jewish idolatry. Okay. All right, guys, here's a good view of the uh, Western Wall here. And just above the Western Wall, we have the Dome of the Rock. Um, it's very busy, uh, as you can see. Um, a lot of police vehicles here we're seeing. Um, but uh, this is also the uh, main areas of contention. So we have the uh, Dome of the Rock, we have the Muslims, and then we have the Jews worshiping the stone, worshiping the wall. Um, it's not the first temple, guys. Um, Lord Jesus said, no stone will be left turned onto another, all right? So we showed you this before. Here we have Robinson's Arch and Suman's Walls. Beyond that is the Ophel and the City of David. Uh, beyond the way, we can see um, Valley of Hinnon uh, and uh, here, uh, Mount of Olives. Guys, here we have the uh, menorah and behind it is the uh, Temple Institute. Um, and again, the, uh, how we know they're, they're not building the true temple as they're making things of silver and gold. There's no mention of a menorah in Ezekiel's temple. Um, but this is the menorah, you may have seen this before, uh, very well known, all right, and the Temple Institute has made everything for the temple, they've made the garments, they have a high priest, um, uh, doing, uh, everything for the temple. Okay guys, of all the things I've seen, this might be the worst. Look at this. Naked women, cherubim, on the 
follows our kind of covenant. This is the worst, guys. The worst thing I've seen. Um, we know from Ron Wyatt's testimony that the true ark. I mean, I don't even want to show that to you. Naked women. It's Mystery Babylon, guys. Right here, right in front of us. Uh, again, we're in the uh, Hebrew quarters and um, uh, Jewish quarters, and you can see, uh, you know, keep to going and going. And now we're we're leaving. Look at this. Seriously? Okay, guys. Everything we've just shown you is within the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. Okay. So clearly, what we can see is the description we saw in Revelation 18 of Mystery Babylon is Jerusalem. Now we're standing just outside the, wall, the city walls and trying to find a place of peace just to read scripture. Okay. And the other scripture we want to read before we conclude here, guys, is Ezekiel chapter 16. Ezekiel chapter 16 is also a description of Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon is a uh, entity, okay? It's a fallen spirit. Um, I encourage you to watch um, the video um, series I have, playlist, on the harlot versus the... Um, wisdom so there's a um, counterfeit wisdom called mystery Babylon so these are two entities that we see clearly in the book of Revelation we uh, read Jeremiah 4 and they're also there because mystery Babylon always decks herself with silver and gold that's why you see all those things in there because they're influenced by mystery Babylon and she influences all the false religions of the world so um, we can find her in Ezekiel 16. So now we're just going to do some scripture reading. And uh, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. Again, let's say it again. Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know her abominations. And say, thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, your birth and your nativity is of the land of Canaan, your father an Amorite, your mother a Hittite. And as for your nativity, in that day that you were born, the navel was not cut, neither were you washing water, but you were uh, not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. No, I pitied you to do any of these to have compassion on you, but you were cast out in an open field to a, a loathing of your person. In that day you were born. When I passed by you, I saw you polluted in your own blood. I said, um, when you were in your own blood, live. Yes, I said unto you, when you were in your own blood, live. Okay. Verse 7, I have caused you to multiply as the bud of the field and increase in wax and great, and you have come to excellent ornaments. And uh, your chest is fashioned, your hair is grown long, um, whereas before you were naked. Now when I passed by you, I looked upon you. Behold, now is the time of love. And I spread my skirt over you and covered your nakedness and swear unto you and entered into a covenant with you, says the Lord God. And you became mine. Then I washed you in the water, and yea, I uh, anointed the... And washed away your blood from you and I anointed you with oil I clothed you also with broidered work and badger skin and girded you uh, with fine linen we saw the fine linen okay and covered you with silk and decked you also with ornaments and put bracelets on your hands and a chain on your neck and a jewel on your forehead and earrings on your ears and a beautiful crown upon your head okay so this is what we see um, in Ezekiel 16 and this is what we see and Revelation 18, Mystery Babylon. Um, Thus you are decked with gold and silver and your raiment of fine mail and silk embroidered work. You need fine flour and honey and oil. And you wax exceedingly beautiful so you prospered into a kingdom. So this we know also to be Vashti, uh, the beauty that it mentions here. Okay? And um, again, same description that we saw. For your renown went forth among the heathen for your beauty. Beauty is Vashti's name means beauty. Um, for it was perfect through your comeliness, and I put you, says the Lord. Um, you did trust in your own beauty, and played the harlot because of your renown, and poured out fornications on every one that passed by you. So now she's um, um, becoming a harlot. And of your garments you did take, and uh, decked in the high places with diverse colors, and played the harlot. Um, and um, taken my your fair jewels, which 
was of my gold and my silver, which I had given you, and made yourself images of men, and did commit whoredom with them. So guys, the, the images and the idols and of all the false religions that we see in the city has to do with um, idolatry, certainly, okay? And also, the food I gave you, fine flour, oil, honey, which I fed you with and set before you for a sweet savor, says the Lord. Moreover, you have taken sons and daughters that I, that whom thou hast born unto me, and has sacrificed them to be devoured as, as if it's a small matter. And you have slain my children and delivered them to the cause to pass through the fire. Okay, we got some gates here um, at the Alaska Mosque. We have the Alaska Mosque and these gates. We'll take a look up close. But, um, guys, there's thoughts that this might be a Roman fort, the uh, quote unquote Temple Mount, and may not actually be the temple proper. Um, I don't know, but um, we will take a look and see some things. That's the Alaska Mosque. And here's another gate. Again, very Roman looking. Of course, predating uh, the Muslim religion. But I just wanted to show you here some footage of Alaska Mosque. Guys, here at the uh, Temple Mount, as it's called, I just want to offer up uh, some thoughts and observations uh, being here on site. Um, this is not any kind of scientific observation or anything, but sometimes you just get a sense of a place once you're there. And I don't personally believe this is actually the Temple Mount. Um, I believe what we have here is, as you can see by this um, old Roman architecture, the old Roman fort that was in Jerusalem. Um, that's just, that's just um, the sense I get. Um, I can't really prove anything to you necessarily, only to say that I believe Jesus' words are true where he said one stone would not be left upon another. And here you can clearly see, um, you know, old Roman era um, structures still in place. So I don't believe this is actually the Temple Mount proper. Um, that being said, we can also look here and, you know, only wonder and speculate what may happen. But if a temple is built, third temple is built, um, there is room here on this side um, for, for some kind of structure. Um, but either way, the significance is the Lord Jesus Christ said, heaven and earth pass away, his words will not pass away. So, you know, his words said not one stone was left upon another, guys. And you can do the research on the, the folks that have done the work to say, okay, this is not the Temple Mount. Um, it's in the city of David. I'm, I'm leaning in that direction, uh, being here on site. Um, but think about it. You have the Jews building a Roman, building a, wanting to build a temple on a Roman fort. Rome is Babylon, so it only makes sense that they would also want to build a false temple to a false messiah on a Babylonian foundation. That's why this is here, and something else may be right here next to it. Um, I'm not sure how all that's going to work, guys, but the scriptures are clear that the son of perdition will take a seat and he will declare himself